the bravery I'm talking about. You can't worry about North Korea. You can't go to the fucking corner store. I'm safe now. I'm in the safe zone. So are you guys filming for anything specific or just this is a specific? public uh, public access? Thing. Oh, cool. They keep following people who might look like you but aren't actually you. Look today. Yeah, we're gonna be good. Oh, sure. That should take a picture of this. This might make the this the Fast forward to 2017, you're gonna open the history books 10 years from now and see all of you diverse being dragged out for the cause. Be peaceful. That's all I'm saying. We all got families. They got families. Me hurting them or you hurting them is not going to make the cars go away anymore. You're going to radicalize someone else. Didn't we learn anything from the war we got going on across the fucking ocean? They're screaming shame now at somebody who's walking by with maybe a, an American flag. Leftist Antifa groups mobbing anybody who walked through this crowd over here. I'm going to show you. Whenever they see someone that looks like a uh, a conservative or something like that, you'll see them start screaming shame and run over and mob people in large uh, groups over here and start attacking. Uh, one lady walked up in here and. Uh, you want to be hard? Be hard. But you swing at each other? What's that? What's hate? You don't know me. I don't know you. But I'm out here trying to save everybody's life. fascism and against white supremacy. We were, because we were up at the uh, balcony where the Shaw Memorial is, we only came down here at the very end because we couldn't have the flagpoles on the common during the event. Boston and Massachusetts and New England comes together to fight and say no to white supremacy, to say no to anti-Semitism, to say no to the KKK, and quite frankly, also, to say no to the politics of President Trump. Yeah. It was good just to see a lot of people, like, they don't, there's, you know, the, the Nazis, and they, that's, a, that's a small, that's a small set of, you know, small section of, of uh, you know, of, of, of this country, and it's good to see, you know, for other people to, um, to come out and say, no, like, we, a lot of us don't think this way, we actually want to move this, you know, this country further, for, for the better. The idea is that hopefully, coming together on this side of the fence, we can reinforce each other and, like, give us the confidence to go back into our own lives and to, when we're not in those ego chambers of, you know, Facebook or Twitter where we're talking to people with the same ideologies, we have the confidence to be able to say, hey, look, like, this is wrong, this is why it's wrong, and educate ourselves based on those perspectives we've been able to take away from, like, other people that we've met here, you know what I mean? So I think that's the, hopefully, the next step for everybody on this side of the fence. Very nice. I, I'm very inspired that so many people came together. Uh, 
in unity against hate and bigotry and uh, neo-Nazism and KKKism and ethno-nationalism and all the other fucking crap. You know, we have to realize like what's really going on. Like we're just being treated as cattle, you know? And we have to take our power back. Nothing is meant for us to benefit. Everything is for their benefit to do, to carry out their agenda, whatever that is. It's not what ours is. You see, ours is peace, you know, and love and um, prosperity. from the Boston Common in Boston, Massachusetts, here at the pr counter protest, the corner of Tremont and West. Uh, we're at the, the lingering after effects of the counter protest to the uh, free speech rally that was that was uh, planned to go on earlier today and, and was cut a little, little bit short. Uh, we're here talking to people in the crowd and uh, just getting a, a feel for, for how things are playing out uh, on this uh, muggy uh, August day in Boston. I'm a mix of every color. I have black meat, I have white meat, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, Russian, German. My grandparents were like rabbits. They were horny bastards. So am I. My father used to have that in the 60s. He was a hippie. He used to go to Woodstock. I went to Woodstock 99. But if it comes down to it, I get a chance to tip over a cruiser. I'm going to do it. I was in Ferguson. Scary. They took my camera. It wasn't a black, it was a cop that took my camera. Just smashed it. Fuck racism! Fuck racism! Fuck racism! Fuck racism! 
I think one of the most significant things is just the protest was a reaction to the speakers, and the speakers never spoke. They left without delivering their message because they underestimated the solidarity of Boston. Mm -hmm. I'm a Unitarian Universalist clergy person and I believe that none of us are free until we're all free and that white supremacy is violent and uh, killing the people that I know and love and we as religious people have broken promises many times and have stood on the side of white supremacy many times and it's time that we keep our promises and fight for liberation. Don't let no hatred into our city, into our state. It's unified, love only. Boston strong. What's your name? My name's Dominic, man, Lewis, man. I'm from a Dorchester relative, man. I'm from Boston all my life, man. I'm gonna fight for these streets every day I live. I got here. Actually, look, I left work. I told my boss, I said, I got an hour, sir. I got here at one o'clock. I thought I missed it, but I made sure I came for the best time.